Now I will explain you the second step here in workflow. Create geometry for spaces. All right. So in Open Studio, there are different ways to create geometries. As I explained you in the previous video, you can go to Open Studio, import an IDF file, and you can start from uh, there. It is useful when you already have an existing IDF file or an Plus file, and you just want to bring more information on that geometry. Well, there are other ways to do it. You can import GBXML file. You can import STD file. These are some import methods. Again, like you need to have some information already there on your computer to import. What if, if you need to create everything from a scratch? Again, there are different ways to do it. First, very important way is to use the standard shape method. Uh, it's here. Go to extensions, open studio user scripts, create standard building shapes. And there are different kind of shape options here. Okay. But before I do anything, I'm just going to save my model here. Uh, I can either save both SketchUp and Open Studio files or just Open Studio file. For now, I'm going to uh, save only Open Studio file because that's what I need. So hit Save Open Studio model as in Open Studio toolbar here. Click on it. And just rename it with some timestamp. I'm just going to rename it something like June 13 underscore SketchUp class underscore version. Let's say some uh, timestamp as 0835 AM. Okay. So this timestamp provides me some information like, hey, that it was saved on June 13th at 835 AM. So save. So now go back to extensions, go to open studio user script, go to uh, create standard building shapes and just choose any option you want. You can actually combine different kind of flow plans, different shape flow plans to create your project. Again, you need to do some kind of uh, pre-process for that. But again, if you are not familiar with SketchUp tools, you can totally use this uh, standard shape method. Let's start with a complicated shape, something like edge shape, edge shape flow plan. It brings a new uh, user input window for you. It's a kind of bug here where you need to provide all the information in meters. It doesn't allow you to provide information in feet, even if we are working in feet. Kind of bug, you can fix it if you are a coder, but let's just move forward with this. I'm going to provide some basic information. Let's say building length is Mm, 35 meters, left width is uh, 28 meters, center width, let's say 12 meters. Uh, number of floors can be three. Floor to floor height, let's say 4.5 meters. Planum height, one meter should be good. Perimeter zone depth, let's make it 3.5 meters. After looking at all those numbers one more time, click OK. And this is kind of an open studio measure that we ran. Remember I mentioned you that Open Studios are some small tiny scripts that actually reduce your workload. It does something for you real quick in like seconds. So you need not to create, create everything from scratch. Again, see, it's a kind of edge shape. Like, you know, I customized it. I gave a different kind of input. So it's a kind of weird edge shape, but it is uh, edge shape, okay? So uh, I can play around with this. I can actually double click on all these spaces and make windows using SketchUp tools. Again, very important guys, if you're not familiar with SketchUp, you can actually um, write us down. We will try to help you out with some SketchUp tutorials. We can work with you. We just need to provide you some heads up on using different kind of SketchUp tools. I'll, I'm going to explain you like everything in detail, but again, if you find something difficult for SketchUp, you can either go to YouTube and look for some videos, or you can always reach back to us and we'll try to help you as much as we can. All right. So in SketchUp, uh, there, is a, there is a concept here, a group concept or a space concept. So what you can do, uh, you can actually uh, connect uh, 
or group out all the surfaces related to one space. We call it a group. Right now, for example, if I select this space here, all the surfaces are connected together. If I delete this or move this, let's say if I move this like this, everything will move with this, okay? So it's a kind of group. I'm just going to fix it one more time because as I mentioned you earlier, uh, Open Studio has very limited undo capability, capabilities. So I can't just click Control C. I'm trying to make these uh, mistakes on purpose so that you know how to work on it later when you're using it. So again, can you see like, you know, this space didn't move properly. I need to do it one more time. You need to be very uh, precise about it. And I know it's very difficult. So for now, I mean, can you see like, you know, everything uh, is screwed here. Like I, I, if I control Z, it will definitely bring more problems in my project. So I'm just going to delete it for now, delete it because we don't have enough time to work on um, that screwed up model. Just click on this add shape again, edge and make some changes in user input and hit okay. So this is my edge shape now. So I was trying to explain you a group uh, concept. So you can see this is a group here. If I need to edit this group, I can't just like, you know, work on it. I just need to double click on it. And now you can see environment changed. Let me do it one more time. I'm, I'm not in any group. If I click on it once, it just select everything for me, but there is no environment change here. Now I'm going to double click on it. And you can see it allows me to select all these surfaces one by one. Now I'm inside this group and I can customize it. I can edit it. All right. So double click on any of the group and use these SketchUp tools to edit the Open Studio spaces. Again, it's very complicated. Uh, we have used uh, Open Studio scripts to create Open Studio spaces. But to edit these spaces, you need to use SketchUp tools. SketchUp environment is just a medium to create your Open Studio geometry. You don't create any SketchUp spaces. You create Open Studio spaces using SketchUp tools. Very important concept here, guys. Don't forget. So if I want to edit or I want to create some windows in this space, I just need, uh, need to double click on it like this. Click on it, click on this rectangle tool here in SketchUp toolbar, or you can use a line as well. Just create some windows, okay? I can use line as well. Try to create some polygon or actually a rectangle, and you can totally do that. Did you notice that when I created, when I created uh, these windows, the rendering automatically changed the color scheme? This is generally what you see for um, Open Studio color scheme here in SketchUp. Walls are always orangish in color. Roof is always brown in color. Windows are always uh, transparent blue in color. Uh, floor is always um, gray in color. If I create a door, let's say, if I start from the edge here, the bottom edge, so you can see the door is uh, brown in color, different kind of brown shade, but yes, brown. You can totally tell which one is roof, which one is window, and which one is wall, right? Same with the skylight. If I create one skylight here, it will be transparent blue in color. 